Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our presentation on our CIA at Greystone Virtual Information Session. I'm Ella Crawford, Admissions Counselor at the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone here in lovely California. This presentation is geared toward our prospective students, but if you are watching and you are an admitted student, feel free to follow along for helpful information regarding your new school. As the world's premier culinary college and leader in the food and hospitality industry, you can imagine how difficult it is for us to not be able to personally welcome you all to our school. We cannot wait till we can host you on our stunning and historical campus. But for now, we are excited to virtually connect with you all and provide helpful information as you journey through our admissions process. Today, we are joined by our very special guest, Allison Stapleton, who serves as the Assistant Director of Admissions at the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone. Now, without further ado, let's give a warm round of virtual applause to our presenter, Allison Stapleton. Hi everyone, thank you Ella for such a lovely introduction. Thank you all for joining us. Um, you know, we believe at the CIA that food is life, right? 100% of the population has to eat. As a student at the CIA, you will develop a deep understanding of food and the business of food, which will unlock an unlimited amount of career opportunities for you. As a graduate of the CIA, wherever you want to go in the world of food, you will have the degree that will prepare you to get there. While we have four campuses that span the nation and even the globe, we are all united under one mission, and that mission is to provide you with the world's best culinary education. Wait, four campuses, you said? Yes, let's talk about them. First, the Greystone campus, where I have the opportunity to call home, and hopefully you will as well. This is our main picture right here. So our Greystone campus, we've been here for about 25 years. Um, the building far predates that, of course. It was built in the late 1800s, and it was the largest stone winery at one point in time, and one of the first gravity-fed flow wineries. Of course, then it became the Christian Brothers Winery, which um, is very well known. And then we came in. So we are located right in the heart of Napa Valley in the beautiful town of St. Helena, overlooking all of the famous wineries that I'm sure you've heard about. Our campus is about 300 students. So we are very much a family here at the CIA Greystone. On the top corner is our flagship campus, which is located in Hyde Park, New York. Now Hyde Park, New York is about an hour and a half north of New York City in the pristine Mid-Hudson River Valley region. It is going to look and feel much more like a traditional college campus. Um, so with exception of students walking around in chef whites and, and donating and carrying their knife kits and baking and pastry toolkits. It's about 3,000 students. Below is our um, campus, right located in the heart of downtown San Antonio. So this area where the campus is located is called the Pearl uh, District. And this area is home of the um, hottest restaurants as well as hotels in San Antonio. Our San Antonio campus is a little less than 200 students. And finally, our campus um, in the vibrant modern city of Singapore. And Singapore is known as the crossroads of Asia. One of the things that I love most about um, how the degree programs are designed at the CIA is that you will have the opportunity to experience more than one campus as a CIA student. But more on that later. Regardless of your age or where you're at in life, choosing the right college for you is a big decision. I am confident that as you college shop, you will see that there is a big difference between the CIA and those other schools. No matter what your interest, where you're at in life, experience level, or career goal, there is a CIA degree that will help catapult you to a life of leadership and success. As a graduate, whether associates or master's degrees, you will have an instant credibility and connection throughout the vast world of food and hospitality industries. At the CIA Greystone, we are proud to offer a 19 month long associate's degree in baking and pastry arts. Now the CIA is the oldest culinary college and you know, we were the ones that started a culinary curriculum. Um, you may have know about the professional chef, now it's ninth edition. So when the CIA was developing uh, the curriculum, 
we feel very strongly about learning in the progressive learning model. So setting that strong foundation, which will allow you to then build more quickly from there, right? Everything is gonna build on to the next. So our baking and pastry degree starts with the baking and pastry techniques class. So that class is gonna be twice a week. You're gonna be in the bake shop for eight plus hours a day, learning those um, techniques, those basic skills for baking and pastry. Once you finish that class, that first semester, alongside your academic courses, your second semester and on forward, your classes are gonna be quick. They're gonna be about three weeks in length. They're gonna be in the bake shop and they're all gonna build on the next. So classes like contemporary cakes or special occasions cakes where you know, we get to dine off of 15 different five-tiered wedding cakes for lunch, totally normal college experience. Artists and breads, production desserts, those are just a chocolates and confections, can't forget that. Those are just a few classes, um, and, you know, just to name a few that you'll be taking uh, while you're a baking and pastry associate's degree major. In addition, you'll have a semester long internship in a semester working at our public um, you know, student run cafe. We have our associate's degree in culinary arts, also 19 months in length, so fast and furious. We know that you're excited to get in and get out and start that career that you've always dreamed about. So our associate's degree in culinary arts, again, will start with the first, you know, first semester laying that strong foundation. That class is gonna be called Culinary Fundamentals that you'll take alongside your academic courses. And that Culinary Fundamentals, or our CIA students kind of affectionately call it Fundies, um, it's gonna go over knife skills. You know, every knife skill is gonna be measured with a ruler. Uh, your, 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 your different cooking techniques and different skills and, and being comfortable in the kitchen. Um, you know, so that's going to be setting that foundation after that first uh, semester after you pass fundies. Your second semester and on forward, you're going to be taking classes such as garmanger or a la carte, high volume, banquet cookery. Um, but of course, you're going to, it's all going to piggyback on the next. So you're going to have to master fish fabrication before you take cuisine to the Mediterranean. Alongside these classes, you'll also have a semester-long internship, as well as a semester at our fine dining restaurant on campus, fully run by our students, both front and back of house. Your associate's degree, again, 19 months here at the Greystone campus, and then when you graduate, and I cry, if you'd like to complete your bachelor's degree, that's an additional 17 months at our Hyde Park, New York campus. So at the flagship campus, that's where our bachelor's degrees are offered. So many students will start at Greystone, do their associate's degree, 19 months, and then that's 17 months for their bachelor's degree. So your entire bachelor's degree can be completed within 36 months. And that's not including any transfer credit that you could bring in. Now, where a lot of colleges seem to brag about all the majors that they offer, you know, 750 majors, um, yeah, CIA is not one of those colleges. CIA is the Harvard of culinary colleges. Thank you, Julia Childs, for <laughs> coining that quote. Um, we are, you're never going to see the CIA brag or offer a horse science degree. That's not our thing. Food is our thing. That is what we do best at. That is why we are globally recognized as the leader of you know, culinary education. So four majors, uh, apply food studies. So for students who are passionate about sustainability, food anthropology, they maybe want to go into a career of food policy or food education, apply food studies would be your best fit. Culinary science. So for those students who are interested in recipe development, research and development, food technology, a lot of bakers tend to go into this major. It kind of uh, matches very well with your type A scientific perfectionistic type of personality that many of you all have. Culinary science. So even at Hyde Park, we have um, a 3D culinary printer and a 3D chocolate printer at the uh, flagship campus. Last year, I had the opportunity to see Yoda being made out of chocolate. It was delicious and adorable. A food business management. Now, that's our probably our most popular major, um, being that a lot of our students that come to the CIA are hoping to own their own restaurant or maybe start their own food brand or food line. Food business management is going to be just like a business degree, as you would be familiar with. So classes that you'll be taking 
macroeconomics, microeconomics, accounting, human resources, but they're all going to be customized towards you uh, running your own restaurant. So you're not having to customize those own projects. They're already uh, customized for you. Hospitality management. So for students who are focused on the front of house operations, tourism, hotels, resorts, um, and the like. And then we are proud to offer this year the bachelor's degree that's online for those who have already obtained an associate's degree at the CIA. And let's say they can't leave their restaurants or their uh, corporate uh, job, then they can go online and have that food business leadership degree and finish up their bachelor's degree. So within those majors, you can um, declare what we call concentration. I want you to think of those as like a minor. So for a semester, you are going to choose a topic that's of special interest to you. And that will take you to various campuses and locations. So let's say you are wanting to learn more about Asian cuisine or Asian studies cuisine, then we will whisk you away to our campus in Singapore where you will study for a semester. San Antonio is proud to offer our Latin studies cuisine. What better place to study? Three of those concentrations bring you back home to Greystone. And we love to see our students who started with us uh, come back within their bachelor's degree. Those three concentrations would be farm to table. Of course, we are in Napa Valley known for farm to table. We're in Alice Waters' backyard. Um, advanced concepts in baking and pastry and uh, the wine, beverage, and hospitality. We have a concentration uh, that we work with with the University of Barcelona focusing on Mediterranean cuisine. We have a concentration at our satellite campus in Italy, uh, Japanese concentration, and then last but not least, we have what's called entrepreneurship. Now that would keep you at the New York campus, um, but that entrepreneurship, who here likes the show Shark Tank? Probably many of you all. So think of that as like our version of Shark Tank. I love that somebody just raised their hand. So you're going to pitch your own restaurant concept in front of a very highly esteemed board, and that board is gonna vote on that winning concept, and the winning concept opens their own pop-up restaurant at the student dining facility that's called The Egg. Yes, everything is a food pun here at the CIA. In addition to that concentration, you will have the opportunity to travel abroad. Um, but this isn't just backpack through Europe and take selfies, study abroad program. This is um, going with a chef instructor and understanding the cuisines and culture of a certain country or, or region. So yes, you will see the Great Wall of China, but while you're there, you're gonna harvest tea leaves on a small plantation. All right, so you'll explore the Parma region in Italy or the, you know, the different various, uh, the Champagne region in, in France. Um, so there's, you know, trips in Peru and Spain, Italy, all over the place. Um, so we want to really uh, make sure that you have that global understanding of the world of food. At the Greystone campus, we are proud to offer a 30-week program. Um, it's called the Accelerated Culinary Arts Certificate Program. We call it ACAP. 30 weeks, it starts each fall, and then our students graduate this time next year, so in the spring. And that's going to be all of those back of house or those kitchen hours without any of the academic courses internship as well as restaurant experience. So that's 30 weeks long um, and it's for students who have already obtained a bachelor's degree. Primarily what we see uh, for ACAP, that student is possibly someone who maybe have earned a, a hospitality management degree at another institution, food science, dietetics, nutrition, and they really need to amp up those back of house um, or those kitchen hours. If that's something that's interesting to you, or if you wanna to talk to us more about that, we'd be happy to do that after our session. We have at the CIA a two year long master's degree in food business. This master's degree is completely online and it's for those who want to advance um, their restaurant concept or if they're looking at possibly starting their own food brands. Um, it's for somebody who traditionally would already have some working knowledge of the industry and wants to advance. So within this two-year master's degree, there are three residencies, two of which bring you back to the Napa Valley or to have you ha be in the Napa Valley, and then one will take you to our campus in Hyde Park. At the Greystone campus, 
course we're going to have our master's degree in wine management. We're in the heart of Napa Valley. So we're proud to offer a 30 week long master's degree in wine management. Now this is not necessarily a wine making degree. This is for someone who wants to go into the business of wine um, or someone who is going and doing uh, possibly uh, wants to be a, a wine director. Um, so it's going to go through the business operations, marketing, import, export, a uh, very intense overview of the history of the different regions of wine. It will focus a little bit on vide and viniculture. About 90% of our uh, Masters in Wine graduates easily pass level two of the Court of Master Sommelier's examination. At the CIA, being that we are the first, the oldest culinary college in the country, we still offer more hands-on learning hours than any other culinary college in the world by far. So I hope you're doing your college shopping and ask that question because we believe that practice makes perfect. So within 19 months of the associate's degree, you're going to receive well over 1,300 hours in the kitchen and bake shops um, within 19 months. ACAP students will receive over 600 hands-on learning hours within 30 weeks. In addition to that hands-on learning hours that CIA is known for, you are receiving degrees, right? So you are gonna be taking academic courses. But get this, these academic courses, you're actually gonna utilize after you graduate. Wow, amazing. So you're going to be taking math, but you're taking culinary math here. So learning and perfecting um, uh, conversions, metrics, yields. You'll be taking history, but it's history of gastronomy, the study of food. You're gonna be taking menu development, wine studies, food safety, nutrition, just to name a few. So these are courses that you're utilizing, not just after you graduate, but even right then and there while you're going into the kitchens later on. So talk about that, you know, going, retaining that long-term memory. The Greystone campus, um, being that the CI is a not-for-profit college, we depend on companies and restaurants um, because, you know, that support us, being that we're not-for-profit. We believe firmly that all of that money that you're putting into your education should go right back into your educational experience, okay? So, um, you know, Charles Crew Winery is right across the street from the Greystone campus, and they've been generous enough to give us over 20 acres of their real estate to have a farm. So we just finished um, harvesting shallots. We planted about 40,000 shallots <laughs> a couple months ago. Over the winter, we planted uh, for ground covering a special type of winter wheat that our bakers use for some delicious focaccia bread. And so, um, you know, in addition to the farm, we have the bakery and cafe by, by Illy Gatehouse Restaurant where our students will work at. And then of course we have the Ghirardelli Chocolate Discovery Center, my favorite place on campus because that's where our bakers uh, will do their chocolates and confections class. They're going to learn and go from cacao pod through different roasting processes into making their own bar of chocolate, selling it, marketing it, pricing it, and best of all is three days during the year, they basically have like chocolate open houses. So all the rest of us that are not necessarily bakers can go and enjoy spectacular different um, chocolate work that they've, been, that they've been working on. So we're very, very proud of our students and we're very thankful for our supporters. So your first two semesters, you're here. You're getting that foundation. You're feeling like, okay, I've got this. I'm at the Harvard of Culinary Colleges. You have the support, academic support, uh, emotional support, whatever you need. You have us with you hand in hand. Right when you're feeling confident, your third semester, we ask you to leave. And you go on your internship. Now, you're still a student at the CIA. Um, this third semester, you're not paying tuition, um, but it's called an internship externship you'll also hear it be called and we have about 2,500 pre-approved sites that are on the list it could be as close as the French Laundry down the street or as far away as the Four Seasons in Dubai regardless we want you to find the best fit for you and we begin working with you on making sure that you have the best fit internship starting day two of you being a student at the CIA we begin this conversation with you not everybody wants to go into um, you know the fine dining restaurants or the Michelin star restaurants my goodness we have enough of them here in the Napa Valley so you 
you don't have to go far unless you choose to. And some of you all are interested in recipe development or culinary science. So maybe McCormick seasoning or Nestle would be your better fit. Many of you all are interested in going into you know, a hotel or high volume production. So Four Seasons or, you know, going through, uh, you know, the different luxury uh, hotels here. Google, you know, to be an a employee of Google uh, offers you a dining as far as your employee benefits. Now, this isn't a PB&J sandwich. This is top line, you know, food being produced. So we want to find, help you find the best fit for you. 98% of those internships are paid. Again, you do not pay tuition during that third semester and 98% are paid. And um, some offer housing. So this is a graded opportunity. You work on your online portfolio throughout the semester. It's 15 weeks in length. And then you return and you finish up your fourth and fifth semester um, here with us at Greystone. That fifth semester of your associate's degree, Bakers, you spend that in the Bakery and Cafe by Illy. And um, our uh, culinary students spend at the Gatehouse Restaurant. So for those students um, that already have progressive back of house um, experience, you may be interested in our turbo option, which basically waives that internship semester and allows you to complete your degree in as little as 15 months. If you think you're a good fit for that or something that's interesting to you, just let us know and we'll help you. At the CIA at Greystone, we are proud to offer a 15 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Top line of you know, unmatched chef instructors and faculty, and it's 15 to 1. You, know, you don't want 500 students learning knife skills at the same time, so we like to keep our classes nice and small. Expert faculty, which include artists and authors and bakers and chefs, um, marketers, wine experts, just to name a few. You know, when I think of some of our faculty, and I'm so proud and humbled to call them my colleagues, um, they're the best in the world. Do your homework. You know, when, when you look on some of our, our their bios for our chef instructors as well as our professors at the campus, you know, we have James Beard Award winning uh, chef instructors, you know, Chef Derpy, James Beard Award winning pastry chef. It is not uncommon at Greystone because we're a CIA family and the Greystone family were close knit for he and his wife to open up their home and have his um, bakers over for dinner. It's not uncommon for Chef Wong, who will be one of your chef instructors, culinary students. He's Air Force veteran, CIA alum. Not uncommon for him to have a group of students to go paddle boarding with. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about student life and that Greystone family that we're, um, you know, we're very well known for. Uh, while you will work hard, and yes, you will at the CIA, we also have a ton of fun. And this is California after all. It is about 80 degrees right now. And, um, it, you know, it, it's sunshine most, most of the year. We have yoga that we offer twice a week on the Herb Terrace. And no, that's not a photo op. We have family meals. Um, this is a view that you'll see as you go up the valley every day. This is not just a photo op. Every day I see hot air balloons as I commute into work. Of course, Napa Valley is world famous wine growing region. Um, so everything in this valley exists and, and, and is a good match for somebody who's studying food and wine, right? You probably wouldn't go to Iowa to study oceanography. Why would you go somewhere that's not known for food and wine to study food and wine? We, um, there was a picture back a couple slides ago with students um, hanging over the stair, you know, the, the little opening where the staircase is, and they're banging pots and pans. Now that is a Greystone kind of secret tradition. Only CIA Greystone does this. For students who are graduating, as they walk up, um, the staircase to go into the, 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 the beautiful reception area to graduate. That is the only time that our current students are allowed to stop what they're doing in the kitchens, grab a pot and pan, and bang that pot and pan as loud as possible as those students go up those three flights of stairs. So now you're led into a little bit of a Greystone secret. We offer clubs and organizations. This is this is a college. We want you to have fun after all. So we have an awesome outdoors club. They go caving and hiking. 
um, you know, we go into the city in San Francisco, if you want to catch a show or go to a game, of course, you guys love to go to all the different restaurants that are in San Francisco. If we don't have the club and you're passionate about something, start it. So that's what Oliver Phillips did down on the bottom corner. He's, he's excited and wanted to learn more about like show pieces. So chocolate show pieces, sugar show artwork. You'll, he'll do that as a baker in his curriculum, but he wanted to start a club. So he started it. And you'll see that's their first creation that they started this past semester. He did a, they did a giant uh, uh, chef's hat or a toque. On the top corner are our winners of our bash competition. That's Tiana and Philip. And yes, we know everyone's name here at Greystone and no, it's not because they're written on their chef white. So Tiana and Philip won BASH. BASH is um, where our teams of two students pair up with a different, like a winery in the St. Helena area, or the Appalachian of St. Helena, which is why it's called BASH. We'll have about 50 teams, and those, um, that team was going to find out or create like a one bite based on a wine or pairs well with the wine that that uh, winery wants to showcase. About a thousand people uh, crowd into our gigantic barrel room uh, for this event and um, winter reigns supreme. I mean, people come from all over the globe to, to, to try your food and to be a part of this competition. So culinary competitions are a lot of fun at our Greystone campus. Our students are extremely serious about food. Of course, we have um, residence halls here at the Greystone campus. So we do have on-campus housing. About 85% of our students choose to live on campus. It's completely up to you if you'd like to choose to live on campus or if you'd rather commute. Um, we have three uh, residence halls. One is right next to our main building that you're going to be taking most of your classes. It's called the guest house. And then there are two other residence halls that are about a mile and a half down the street where we have shuttle service that runs every 10 minutes. They're called the Vineyard Lodges. They're Vineyard Lodges because they are right in the middle of a beautiful vineyard. So these uh, residence halls, they have, we have a small workout room. We have communal kitchens. They're commercial kitchens where students can um, work on their nice skills or just make an awesome you know, family meal for, for one another. It's typically two to a room. Each room does have a bathroom or a restroom. Um, laundry facilities are included in your tuition because you do a lot of laundry at the CIA. And, um, you know, of course, a ton of different events that are for our residences, our residents. So events like Dumpling Diversity or Let's Talk About It, just to name a few. And I told you everything is a food pun here. At the CIA, you have a lifelong advantage, you know, really over your peers that, that go elsewhere. You know, at the CIA, it is, it is a family and it's part of a, a network of over 50,000 alum. You know, we started in 1946 as um, the first culinary college in the country we were founded by two women to help the GIs returning from World War II to get the skills that they needed to be successful in the kitchen. So we've grown a little bit since then from 50 students back in 1946 to over 50,000 alum, and we are proud of each and every one of them. You know, that really um, allows you into a very exclusive club. In addition to your network of CIA alums, we have career fairs. We have three career fairs at Greystone. We are extremely selective on who comes in to hire you, our students. We actually currently have a waiting list for employers, like top tiered employers to come in and hire our students. So as you're college shopping, ask that question to other colleges. The other thing that I probably is one of the things next to our students that I'm the most proud of in regards to being at the CIA is that all of our graduates receive lifetime career assistance. Yes. So for the rest of your life, you have our help in not just finding a job, but it's about finding the perfect fit, that perfect career for you. You have access to an online database that's just for our alums that offer over 2,000 um, top tier job offerings, as well as you can always call our academic advisors or career advisors um, to help assist you in that job hunt. So it's an incredible thing. We are very, very proud of the degree that we're conferring and it shows. 
These are just a few notable alums. Now, as I go through these slides, you're going to recognize some faces, which is great. There are a lot of famous faces and our CIA grads. But what I really want to help you understand is that there is a breadth of careers available for CIA graduates. Um, they're not um, all chefs you know, in the back of house. They're not all running their own restaurants. They're all throughout this wide, you know, uh, industry. It's the second largest private industry in the world and only growing. So of course you recognize Chef Amanda Freitag um, as a, one of our CHOP judges, CIA grads, but food stylists, master psalms or sommeliers. Francis Lamb, he is a food writer for the New York Times. What better person to write about food than, than somebody who understands and has a formal education in food? Chef Johnny Hernandez single-handedly changed the landscape of San Antonio food scene. Chef uh, Manit, another CHOP judge and Food Network personality. Uh, my Californians probably recognize this gentleman on the left is Roy Choi. So Chef Roy Choi, L.A. son, he inspired the movie Chef. Um, he is very well known for his kind of a food truck pioneer, but also giving back to the community. He is all about serving like food deserts and underserved people. It's awesome. It's, it's about feeding, you know, feeding people and, and feeding their souls. In the middle, this gentleman, you may not recognize, you may not even recognize his name, but what color apron is he wearing? He's wearing a blue apron. Hmm, does that sound familiar, blue apron? Hope so. It was the first um, subscription, like meal delivery service of its kind. So Matthew Wadiak is worth over $2 billion at this point. So again, he's not in a kitchen. He's not running a restaurant. He's running a gigantic corporation. This is an investment for life. Going to a college should be an investment. It should be something that grows over time. And at the CIA, we want to partner with them and making sure that we um, go over all the different financial aid options from federal, where you'll complete your FAFSA, to state aid, such as Cal Grant, CIA scholarships and grants. There's need-based aid, merit aid. We have an entire scholarship website called CHEF, with a dollar sign. And of course, our alumni referral scholarship. So applicants, if you are thinking of applying, to have a letter of recommendation um, submitted by an alumni of the CIA, and you will receive a one-time $1,000 scholarship. And I know many of you all are very, very bright up there, and you're thinking, okay, what if I get 10 letter of recommendations? Sorry, it's just one. So we'd love to see that alumni uh, letter, and we'd love to give you that scholarship. So those are just a few financial aid options, just to name a, uh, just a few, but we're going to work with you every step of the way. Being that we were founded for our veterans, we are extremely proud of them. Um, you know, you've served us bravely. This is our time to serve you and get that next dream of yours ready to go. So up to 100% of CIA tuition is covered by veterans benefits. Please let us know if you're a veteran so we can work with you and making sure that you get all the financial aid that you deserve. And teaching you yes, chef, no chef for our veterans is a very short and small learning curve. I want you to definitely pay attention to this. This is extremely interesting. Uh, this is, you know, CIA was ranked by Georgetown University. Um, they did a study at their Center of Education and Workforce. Um, we are ranked as number one, and we have the highest return on investment among all culinary colleges, not only right after graduation, but for every decade thereafter. They studied over 4,500 U.S. colleges. And so you'll see it. So you may see some of the other schools that you're looking at, but look at where CIA ranks. And this is what we're talking about, that investment for life. It starts now. It starts with logging on and having this virtual information session and then going through the application process. My colleague Ella and myself, we are going to help you every step of the way. It is the best part of our job is letting you know that you've been admitted to your dream school. That never gets old. Of course, financial aid counselors, enrollment counselors that'll help you every step of the way, getting you prepared for when you start, to licensed mental health counselors, academic support, residence life team, student affairs, and then onwards after you graduate, a lifetime career assistance. So from A to Z, we want to support you to, to make sure that you, um, that you can accomplish those dreams. 
You know, at CIA, we, uh, we believe food is life and we want to make food your life. So the application process is straightforward and we are going to help you. The application you can complete on our website or via the Common App. You're gonna send us official transcripts. So students that have already obtained over 24 college credits, you're going to just submit your official college transcripts. Students who have less than 24 college credits or are right out of high school, just give us um, your official high school transcript as well as any official college transcripts. We ask three essay questions. Um, just give us a good solid paragraph for each of those prompts. We want to know about your passion, your work ethic, that perseverance through adversity, and your dreams. You know, for five years after you complete the CIA, what is your dream? We want to be a part of that and we want to know. And then of course our letter of recommendation. We do not require food service experience here at the CIA. We feel extremely confident that we will prepare you for, with all the skills that you'll need to be successful. However, we cannot, um, cannot prepare you for You have to have passion, right? You have to have that work ethic and that grit. That is what we're looking for. So that letter of recommendation doesn't have to be from a chef or a chef instructor. It can be from a mentor, guidance counselor, coach, employer, just not mom, dad, or a partner. Okay, once we receive all of those items necessary for your application to be complete, we will let you know what with the admissions decision uh, in less than two weeks. So there's no waiting for months and months to hear back from us. We'll let you know with that admissions decision within two weeks. So, and then you'll begin applying for financial aid using the FAFSA. We have three entry dates here at the CIA at Greystone. We have our May 18th date that we are still bringing in culinary students for so if that's something you're interested in it's not too late we have our fall entry date where we have our associate's degree in culinary arts our master's in wine ACAP um, we do have currently a waiting list for our associates in baking and pastry for fall and then of course we have January so January is a great time to start as well and we will bring in our associate's degree in culinary arts as well as baking and pastry and both of those opportunities are open for January. So we are again we're going to help you uh, to determine what is the best fit for your entry date and um, work from there. This gentleman most likely seems very familiar, <laughs> Chef Duff Goldman. He says, he's actually a CIA Greystone graduate, and he says that when you leave here, you'll have a piece of paper that says you are a graduate of the Culinary Institute of America. That paper is a passport. With it, you can go anywhere, eat anywhere, and work anywhere. I couldn't agree more, Duff. Your life in food starts here. You know, we cannot wait until we're back open so that we can swing those beautiful Greystone front doors open for you and have you visit the campus and roll out the red carpet and um, show you just a little piece of what we call our Greystone, you know, CA Greystone family. We cannot wait to do that for you. But until then, um, please be in touch with us. You can ask questions during this time. And, um, you know, we can't wait to see you here in your chef whites. All right, thank you so much, Allison, for that extremely helpful information. Um, Allison, do you mind walking us through what a typical schedule looks like? Absolutely. Typical schedule is a little different than um, maybe a college that you might be familiar with, where there's three hours in between classes to you know, go on the green, sip your pumpkin spice latte, and play ultimate frisbee. It's not like that at the CIA. You, frankly, are, um extremely uh, you're a little obsessed with being in the kitchen sometimes we have to take you out of the kitchen like kick you and scream and like you will go hiking so um our schedule is for your first semester two days during the week you will have your academic courses and then two other days consecutive days you'll have either your baking and pastry techniques class or your culinary fundamentals class where that's going to be an entire semester in length um but those will be two full days from 7 a.m until about 1:30. Once you go on to your second semester and fourth semester associate students, you will either be on a morning schedule, so 7 until 1.30, or an afternoon schedule, 2 until 8.30. Uh, we believe that you need those, uh, you know, that amount of hours to be able to learn what you need. Also, at the Greystone campus, what you're making is the meal plan. 
for the campus. So for our students, there's not necessarily a meal plan. I, you're the meal plan. So that's within your board fee. So AM works to get lunch out and PM works to get dinner out. So depending on the objective of the class dictates what we eat, how we eat, and when we eat it. So it could be a menu-based approach. It could be regional dishes that are like on the line. Um, so, and then your third semester, of course, your internships, so you're away. And your fifth semester, either you're running the cafe or you're running the restaurant. Uh, wine students, you are going to have classes throughout the week. Um, and various times you'll have, you know, four or five hours of class each day. So plenty of opportunity for you to be able to work at one of the local wineries um, and, you know, work on getting that career ready resume. Wonderful. Uh, now I have one student who is wondering if it's possible to double major. Um, additionally, can you pursue both culinary arts and baking and pastry? I love it. You're such a CIA student. You're such an overachiever. I love that. Um, not at the CIA, not simultaneously. It is far too rigorous at the CIA to do that together. Uh, what several of our questions are our students do rather, they will go through one, graduate and then they'll go through the other. So it doesn't mean that you have to take all the academic classes again, you will not, but you will take your, you know, your bake shop classes or your culinary classes, you'll take your internship and you'll take your restaurant experience. So one at a time, but I love that question. I love that intensity. Now I have another student who is, you know, definitely excited about coming and visiting campus and wondering if there will be um, tours again in June and July. We are hoping so. We are scheduled to. Um, so we'll have open houses. Ella and myself, we give tours and um, information sessions daily. So you can register online or just be in touch with Ella or myself. And we would love to have you on campus um, June and July. We were anticipating uh, being back on campus then and we'll let you know if there's any other changes. Beautiful. Now, I have another student who is interested in the associate degree and is wondering um, how many credits can they typically transfer into uh, the degree program? So the associates, um, the credits, because most of it is going to be hands-on learning hours, the credits that we see that are transferred in associates um, sometimes are the math, our writing, and at times of the nutrition or like that serve safe management nutrition class. Uh, most of the classes that would transfer in would go into your bachelor's degree if you choose to do your bachelor's degree at the CIA. So that's going to be more of your academic classes. So let's say you, you know, have your you know, business associate's degree, up to 36 hours are going to transfer into your bachelor's degree, which would definitely pare down a lot of that time. So I want you to think of the associates. While you do have your academic courses, most of this is going to be hands-on work. Um, and no kitchen classes would transfer. You know, we're going to be the ones that want to teach you knife skills um, with the CIA stamp of approval. So just a couple of the classes in the associates and most of a lot of those classes then would be held off and transferred successfully into your bachelor's component. Now I have another student who is wondering how possible it is to have a job while attending CIA uh, and are there job opportunities on campus? Great question. Yes, there are tons of job opportunities on campus. And best of all, it's not like at other colleges where the best job you can get is to give sweat towels at a gym. These jobs are focused in a lot of it, which is what you're going to do. So a lot of our jobs are available with our special events department. So we have a lot of weddings and very premier conferences and events held at the Grace on campus and so our students are able to assist um, the different chefs and front of house operations with those functions. We also have a tutoring job so those students who have excelled as a student at the CIA can be a tutor so a math tutor, a writing tutor, help with knife skills or piping skills for the baker. Uh, we even have a full-time wine studies tutor does in every college. Um, so those are a few different job opportunities as well as a ton of opportunities off campus. Considering what this valley is known for and what we do, um, they, there's a huge shortage of, of skilled labor in this valley. So um, there's no, you know, there's, there's no problem uh, getting a job or acquiring a job um, while you're a student at school here. Now keep in mind though that our curriculum is full-time. So 
it is a full-time curriculum. We do say it's a, it's you know five days a week, and um, but you know good thing is that you know if you're working at a restaurant off campus, you're able to be a little bit more flexible with your hours, work a little later, work on the weekends, things like that, or work on the time that you don't have class. Awesome. Uh, now, what kind of support services does CIA offer? Yeah, so at the CIA, just like with any college, um, you know, we want to support you regarding academic or an emotional health. So academic, we have the Learning Strategy Center. So if you need um, accommodations or extra time, anything that we can support you with that, we will. Uh, of course, with our tutoring, we have professional tutors as well as our student tutors. And then we have a licensed mental health counselor as well as a part-time licensed mental health counselor. And that's all included within your tuition. So tutoring, academic support, and counseling is all included in your tuition to make sure that, um, that you feel supported and that your needs are met. Lovely. Now, um, I have another student who is wondering how early can you apply for CIA? So for our uh, sophomores and juniors who are listening in. Oh, I love that. I love that you're eager. That's awesome. Um, so we accept um, applications about 16 months prior to your entry date. So for our high school students, what I would do is right before you go into your senior year, so the summer before you go into your senior year, that would be a great time to apply because then when you start your senior year and everybody else is applying, you have already applied and received an admissions decision to your dream school. Lovely. Uh, now, what is the dress code at CIA like? So our dress code, you, um, if you're an associate student, if you are on campus, you're either in your chef lights or you're in business casual business professional. Think of that attire as attire that you would wear to an, a job interview. Graduate students, you are in business casual business professional. Um, so if you're on, you know, if you're at your residence hall or your dorm, of course you can wear, you know, casual, you know, put on those gym shorts. Um, but if you're on campus, we want to make sure that you are, you know, you know, have professional dress code. There's a lot of VIPs that come uh, to our Greystone campus. We want you to be interview ready at all times, as well as what the CIA is really stands for is that um, level of excellency. To follow up on that question, Allison, one of our students is wondering, um, you know, are the chef whites included in a part of the tuition? Do they have to purchase them separately? What does that look like? Great question. So yes, that is part of, um, you know, it's part of what you're paying for. So your chef whites, it's not something you'll have to order separately. We'll walk you through that process of getting the right sizing. Um, the only thing that you, you know, it's, so it's your chef whites, your, your checkered pants, uh, your side towels, your aprons, your neckerchiefs, your toques, um, you would need uh, kitchen shoes. So black, non-slip, you know, um, uh, non-slip or slip resistant uh, kitchen shoes. I would go for possibly two pairs of shoe shoes so you, you can kind of alter because you're going to be on your feet a lot. So you want to make sure your feet are fresh. So if you can get two pairs of kitchen shoes, but it doesn't have to be through the CIA or um, through our uniform apparel company. It can be on your own. Lovely. Uh, now I have an accepted student, so congratulations, uh, who, <laughs> uh, who is wondering uh, when that enrollment fee is due. Yeah, so um, it depends on when you're coming in, but um, you know, if you're admitted for the fall, then you want to put your deposit, your $300 um, enrollment deposit down now because that secures your spot. Awesome. Now, uh, what happens if a student were to get injured in class? And it does happen. And you guys are very strange because you brag about your injuries. Um, that's definitely like a kitchen thing. So yeah, you will get cut and you will burn yourself and you will brag about it. Um, but what happens is that when that injury does occur, your chef instructor will evaluate it. And um, if you need medical attention, uh, that's further than like your specialized first aid training that our security officers have or just what we have as far as with our first aid um, kits. Um, if you need you know, further medical attention, then the security team will drive you to the hospital. The hospital is St. Helena Hospital and it's not even a 10 minute drive. It's literally like 
across the vineyards from our location. And it's uh, an amazing um, zero ER wait time. It's a teaching hospital for the college that's um, next door. So it's, it's an incredible hospital, probably one of the premier in the Valley. And um, you'll receive medical attention there. Wonderful. Um, all right. So I have one student who is saying that, you know, they, they struggled in high school um, and their GPA maybe doesn't reflect their, their capabilities in terms of their academics. Um, and they're wondering if there is still a place for them at CIA. Definitely. We, uh, let us do our job. We're the experts in that. You know, let us determine if, if um, this would be the best fit for you. So by all means, do not allow that fear to keep you from applying to your dream school and to the CIA. We look at everyone holistically. So we're looking at your transcript. Yes, you know, academics are very important. It's a huge part of the CIA and we ask a lot of our students, but it's not everything, you know. We have, um, it doesn't mean that if you're a 4.0 student, you're gonna do great here at the CIA. You know, we're looking for that whole picture. And that passion and that work ethic is extremely important to us. So if, let's say you struggle a little bit in high school, tell us. Ella and I and the admissions committee, we're looking at everyone individually and holistically. Talk to us about it. Talk to us about what was going on in high school or in college. And if you were to be admitted to the CIA, what specific steps would you take to make sure that you were successful here? Um, and then trust that we will do our jobs and we will help uh, determine it, let's, to make sure that you'd be a good fit and you'd be successful here. Wonderful. I could not have said it better myself, Allison. Um, now, I laugh because this is a question I get all the time. Uh, the student sees it online. There are two California campuses. What are the difference between the two? Yes, so um, that student is very perceptive, first of all. <laughs> but we do have California campuses. There are two. The one that you are going to apply for is the Greystone campus, what we talked about during our information session. The Copia campus, which is located in downtown Napa, about 40 minutes away from our St. Helena, the Greystone campus, Copia campus is for um, food enthusiasts, let's say, I want to take a pasta class on a Saturday. I would go to Copia. If I want to get a degree, or if I want to go through ACAP, that's only offered at our Greystone campus. So our degree and certificate programs are only offered through Greystone. We are regionally accredited, and our accreditation is through Greystone, not at Copia. Copia is, think of it as like a Disneyland for foodies. So conference center, shop, teaching kitchens. It's an amazing location, um, but it is not where our degree, our degrees are offered. So, and just um, to let you know, we are regionally accredited by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education. So same accreditation as Harvard and Yale, since our main campus, our flagship campus is in New York. Lovely. And uh, now I have another student who is in the process of enroll or of applying um, and they're having a difficult time getting their transcripts. Allison, do you have any suggestions on alternate places to look in order to find transcripts for applications? Definitely. And I know with the current situation, that is really the, the tricky part. Um, so if you're having a difficult time getting your transcripts, so these are a couple of things that we can do is um, if you can uh, bring up like what your portal is or your school's portal where your classes and grades are, you can submit those and we'll look at it um, as an unofficial transcript until we get, until we receive that official transcript. So that's um, something that we could do even if you have screenshots of, you know, just your history of grades and courses that you've taken. Um, if you have contact or if you're able, I know high schoolers are able, if they're able to talk to their guidance counselors, sometimes the guidance and school counselors or academic advisors um, that are working currently, that you can reach out to them and they may have um, access to your transcript. Or if, let's say, um, many of our students have attended other um, uh, programs that have closed, that you can um, go through like Parchment or some of the, those third-party transcript sites and acquire your transcript from there. So those are just a few options. Um, also the Board of Education, your local or your state Board of Education sometimes is a good way for you to acquire that transcript, especially during this time. 
Beautiful. Uh, now I'm getting some questions on financial aid and I just want to remind everyone that if your question is more specific, uh, we will have a admissions counselor follow up with you after the presentation. Um, but to, to be a little bit more general, Allison, for, for students who are interested in financial aid, what would you recommend they begin with? Definitely the FAFSA. You know, the, the first, first steps that you're going to want to do is go through the application process and apply for your FAFSA. Once you get through your application process and receive a decision, if that's a, a you know, if you're admitted, um, then we're going to download your FAFSA and be able to work on it and see what you could qualify for. Uh, keep in mind that not every college is going to offer the same financial aid through, um, through the federal government. It depends on the cost of attendance of the school. So if you're thinking, gosh, there's no way I could afford it because I applied to this school and I received this type of financial aid, um, every school is different with the different financial aid that we're able to offer. And so that's going to then work through the federal aid, and then we'll see if there's any state aid that you can um, qualify for, as well as any aid from the CIA. Um, also, you're going to have access to that CHEF scholarship website that I referred to earlier in my presentation, and that's going to unlock um, different scholarships from different companies. Again, we're not for profit college, so companies like Tabasco or Boar's Head, Cola Vita Italian Olive Oil, those are just a few companies that support us because we give them our incredible graduates, so, um, and they give amazing scholarships. Other scholarship ways, you know, opportunities would be, um, think of like your different, your favorite food brands, <laughs> Goya, or, you know, think of, um, you know, uh, you know, Meadow Valley Organic Farms, do they offer scholarships? Look at those back pages of their websites. A lot of these companies offer um, great scholarships on, on their websites and uh, because they're tax write-offs, right? And so a lot of these scholarships, don't nobody applies for them. Look at your local chamber of commerce or lo Rotary Club. Those are often offer great scholarships as well. And as some of our students are even sponsored by people or local businesses. Um, they'll sponsor you if you maintain a certain GPA. You know, those are some things that we look at. So if you have any scholarships that you've earned outside, bring them to the CIA. We will take them. Keep in mind, scholarships are free. You should never have to pay for a scholarship. So those places that say, oh, we'll find you scholarships and you have to pay $39.95, don't do that. It's a scam. So there's great websites like FastWeb um, that are scholarship search engines. So those are all different ways that you can kind of get a head start on that financial aid. Lovely. Uh, now I have a student who is wondering what the grade system is like. Is it uh, typical to what you find at other colleges? It is typical. I mean, it's A, B, C, D, F. Um, so in regards to that grading system, and that's an awesome question, by the way. Um, it is going to be like that. Now, of course, it's going to be a little different because a lot of your stuff is hands-on. But um, you are going to have tests just like any other school. You're going to have written tests, but you'll also have hands-on tests. They're called practicals. Um, but you will have all that preparation needed to, to be able to take those tests, just like you would at a traditional college. Um, you, you know, may have, like, for meat fabrication, for that practical, you'll have a written component, and then you'll go into the teaching kitchen and have to identify, um, you know, certain parts of different animals, uh, be able to break them down, be able to name the different cuts. So those are just some, you know, some ways that, or an example of, you know, students being tested. I know bakers um, in their baking classes, yes, they are going to have to be able to identify over 20 different types of flour and over 30 different types of sugar. So, you know, there are papers that you'll write, um, but they're all, again, geared towards what you're wanting to do. You know, there's nothing, there's everything is very practical and applicable at the CIA. There's nothing really existential in nature here at the CIA. Lovely. And uh, now we are just about out of time. So this is going to be the last question um, of, our, of our session. Uh, and I, I love this question, <laughs> but one student says, you know, how can I contact an admissions counselor? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's great. Yes, um, definitely. So Ella and myself, we are your admissions counselors. And um, currently I take care of students that are interested in the baking and pastry program. And Miss Ella takes care of um, the students that are interested in the culinary program. Um, 
program. For those students interested in ACAP or wine management or food business management online, um, our colleague Robert Tremblay is um, your admissions counselor. But at the end of the day, we're all gonna be able to assist you and help you. So um, we all work with you the same. Our contact information is on our website. And then of course, um, you know, Ella and I and, and my contact information uh, will be available, I know after this presentation, and we can always email you that information as well. So multiple ways of getting in touch with us, and we're happy to do so. We can't wait to talk to you and eventually get you here on campus and, um, you know, be able to show you what's so special about the CIA at Greystone. Lovely. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. And thank you to our presenter, Allison Stapleton, who always does such a wonderful job of, of simplifying a, a complex and beautiful curriculum. Um, we appreciate all of your questions. We weren't able to answer all of them, but we will contact um, those after the session. And we will be adding a recorded copy of our session to the website as well. Uh, so again, thank you for attending today. We, will lo we look forward to welcoming you to our beautiful campus in the very near future.